looking for uh, those achievements, and uh, I don't, I don't really know how this matchup plays out. Um, I feel like it's an even one. Yeah, I mean, I know Pikmin has a pretty uh, good handle on Prince John, so um, I definitely best. wouldn't doubt him. But it's John, but I was able to... with a turn two. Yes, I cook. It's a lot of fading in order to slow him down. And it's trying to like rise when he's faded very little, because then he's able to take advantage of his heroes best. So we're starting by going to the jail for Prince John and maybe playing a card, but it looks like we're um, having trouble with the timer. So. Oh, this um, is we're playing a card, starting with some wolf archers, which it's not super exciting. Uh, but it looks like we're moving on to Hook. The fact that he didn't discard any cards is very interesting. Hook with that combo spot and Hook's case. Uh, the the classic play of play it to where you are so you can get the one power and then move it over immediately. Be a better target. I'm considering greed. Oh yeah, interesting. Um, greed is a, a ever pres present thing with Prince John. I'll say one thing I definitely like about um, being Hook as Prince John is the ability to use cowardice. Um, because Hook is bound to have allies. Yeah. Um, so we have Nutsy and a fate that didn't quite whiff, uh, although getting rid of Hook's case is not a very exciting play. Um, give him the scare to uh, get rid of Wendy. Pain for sure. And and pixie dust taken for peter discarding cannon early and what does this fate turn on oh, Ooh, robin hood but right. that is the that is exactly what you're looking for when you're playing against prince john early robin hood quickly for prince john uh oh uh, captain hook can't fate a whole lot so might be able to kill him quick. It's still a pain. Interesting that uh, Friar Tuck's church is where all the allies were played to. Um, I know in the past, uh, Pikmin hasn't really valued that super highly. But, Imagine it's um, just because Wolf Archers, the way they can cover all the and then Nazi is just above the wolf archers more. Oh, true. This is this is Nazi, not um, not the other one. Um, I forget the other one, other bird's name. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get a bow and arrows on the wolf archers. Looks like the on Nazi actually. You're right. That's... Interesting. Me is going for a set of trappers on. Moving back over to Peter and Captain Hook, we're going to play Worthy Opponent. Lost Boys. Get a Lost Boys. Interesting. Not looking to cover up the Jolly Roger yet. Can I keep that this guy open, maybe? Oh, nope. Has decided to. I know that's where most people like to stack their heroes as. Oh, we were right. Wolf Archers is the one with bow and arrows. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. And moving back over to Prince John. We don't have either of the big engine cards out yet with uh, very little defense for Prince John. So we'll see what he can come up with this turn. Not seeming like we're going to vanquish 
uh, Robin Hood yet. Or... It's only four strength on little furnitures. Oh, maybe some confusion about where the bow was played. Oh, oh, because of cunning. That makes sense. Oh, you missed her strike. You lost was whatever. I... Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if um, that was the consideration. He actually wanted the Met Skull Rock, but he wanted to use Mr. Starkey. Um, I don't know. It, it would be weird, um, but um, I suppose it's definitely yeah, that it can be done. Let's see it. All right, we got two of the three warrants down. That's um, getting close to one of the the achievements for Prince John. I didn't look at the achievements, so it'd be cool to find on those. Yeah, most of them are pretty difficult. I think the warrants one is one of the easy ones for Prince John. Um, the other two being getting a five power on beautiful, lovely taxes and accumulating five power in one turn cycle, start of your opponent's turn to your turn. Both of which are pretty difficult. Both talents are gone. That's interesting. Oh, I see. Movements. Yep. So you could finish off Robin Hood. This is a pretty good spot now. Going to get to play down the crown and fate. My favorite setup personally is to have uh, Sir Hiss at the Fire Tux with the crown. Oh, that was lucky. Getting to have Peter Pan avoid TikTok um, is right. pretty, pretty important. It wasn't that I gave them a scare. You could have put a ton on the Lost Boys. Not that it matters since you just killed the Lost Boys. Um, but yeah, as you were saying, Sir Hiss at Nottingham is kind of the ideal setup and the other engine card he's kind of looking for is the Sheriff of Nottingham, I'm sure. Um, although no heroes means it's not going to be generating him a lot of value yet. So not a big deal. Um, you know that sometimes when I see a Strong has such a good setup, I won't even bother with fading him. So it'll just make him more money than Grin, sense. Yeah, that's fair. Currently, he um, can't make a lot of money at a time. Looks like he's discarding Greed, Cowardice, and a Rhino Guards. Um, and we'll see what we get from Hook here. Um, us, it's a map. Well, and it's that much closer. Just has to move Peter, and we're there. Odds are really going in Hook's favor, it looks like right now. Yeah. Um, Prince John has a lot of work to do before he can actually win the game still, and these fates are going to have to go in his favor because um, not having much down with Peter Ori in place um, is, is not where you want to be when Hook is ready to start moving towards his end game. Yeah. So um, placing a hero on top of Peter means that uh, when Brian goes to Hangman's tree next turn, he will not uh, be able to use that fate at the top. Because if he goes to Hangman's Tree. They can move Hero and a Fate on the same location is very popular. Yep. Um, of course, if he has the device, all of that uh, may go out the window. So, yeah. yep, oh, there and go. there we go. <laughs> well, the question is, is he going to... He's moving nope, here. just moving Peter. Not looking at that way. If he faded... Uh, it's John, he's just... What's going to be giving him money, honestly? True. Yeah, that's exactly what you said. We're at this point, Prince John's pretty well set up. You don't really want to um, give him resources to gain money from. 
which is kind of what his heroes end up being in the end. Ooh, Tinkerbell to get rid of Smee is a big deal. But he has that combo spot. He's going to be able to move Peter next turn to the Jolly Roger. We'll see um, what those last two plays will get him. Um, I don't think it's possible spider Brute's cost too much, I believe. Yeah, I mean, he can't yeah, uh, actually can't. perform a Vanquish this turn, so it really doesn't um, matter. But, um, yeah, only uh, ends up being able to put four power on the board. So, um, still a bit away, but there's no taunts out yet. Um, he's not extremely blocked up. Um, We'll see how this goes. What Prince John's really looking for here is a taunt. So, ooh, that headache is a turn too late. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, this is a tough decision because neither of them is very exciting at all. I would do um, just the block as well. Yeah, I was expecting blocking up Hangman's tree. That makes a lot oh. of sense. To prevent fading. Yeah. Right, where the power is. Yes, it's where the, the two extra power is, which is a big deal. So, um, given the scare, bad. interesting. So, not taunt. You can use that. Up. Yeah, just trying to avoid taunt at this point. It'll be. Curious to see how he decides to fate here, because having a warrant at each location other than the jail makes it really unappealing. If he'll even fate, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what he's considering. Yep, no fate. All right. Well, that's uh, not something you get to see very often, but it makes a lot of sense here, I think. What's Prince John's response? Still got a lot of ground to cover getting to 20 power. You get 5 power per turn. That was uh, take a while, and which Atmo could easily kill a Peter Pan in that time. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. He 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 has to keep fading, cause he, but he knows the next two cards aren't taunt. So, um... I don't know. It's tough. Free arrows. Looks like we're going to take a turn off just to get some power. And Hook's probably going back to his combo spot. Get that three power again, play two more cards. Or does he have enough to vanquish Peter? Oh, um, okay. Looks like not. Forget how much the brutes are, but I imagine they're at least two. All right, up to six power. It's like he's aiming for an AI or six, six strength. Yeah. But yeah, and you can't move John because of that will strengthen the color, I suppose. Yes. All right. And I think Hook is in a really good spot. He, he has two different places he can go Ooh. to um, vanquish next turn. Um, the top two cards are probably not taunt since he put them back. Um, all he needs is a couple more power or strength to beat Peter. He's only eight with six strength on the on the board. I think Hook's got this, but we'll see what Prince John can conjure up. And remember, this is best two out of three. So Hook taking this first game is not not over for Pikmin being able to take the set. So oh, getting two more power on Peter Pan. It's not that big a deal though. Um, yeah, right now you yeah, Hook has six. So if he has a boot that's well yeah. we're... he's back to needing four more to beat Peter, which is definitely doable. I don't uh, remember the pirate brute cost, like you were saying. Um, but it's 
I suppose we'll find out here in a moment. Cunning II surge, it's all discards. Pirate Brute is three power for four strength. So, and I believe that's the most efficient um, power to strength he has other than um, the one for two, but with cards, big deal, so. Oh, are we vanquishing? Nope, we're, yeah, we are. Interesting. Oh, yeah, How did he move to vanquish Michael? I'm mildly confused by that. Um, um, actually, yeah, how? I think he did II, sir. Oh, that would make sense. Yes, I did see that get discarded. I just didn't realize it got played. That's a good call. Smart. And there's that taunt. This. Maybe we're wrong. I hook may not be set up as nicely as I thought. Um, but um, Prince John's still on the slow track for getting enough power to win this game. So just gotta keep keep Peter Pan protected. Going back to the combo location. Looking to get rid of John. Another, oh, another swashbuckler and a pirate brute. That's how he's going to get rid of John. Um, yep, moving the cannon over and going to perform a vanquish. That taunts out of the way. And he's got six strength left for getting. Peter next turn, still needing four more. So it seems unlikely he can get Peter next turn, but um, who knows? Maybe if he gets an obsession turned on. Ooh, TikTok. Not as big a deal when a cannon's on the board, but. Um, We'll see what uh, Pikmin ends up choosing. Since Wendy can give Peter Pan an extra power or strength. I always want to say power, but um, yeah. This is actually a tough choice. I think um, since the cannon's on the, on the board, I would probably go with Wendy. I have to imagine he's considering it, but it is close. TikTok's a huge pain if you can put him at the location Captain Hook wants to go to to vanquish um, because then he can't play a card from his hand the turn he vanquishes. Yeah, and it looks like the fact that the cannons on the board is enough to um, have him play Wendy and get Peter Pan up to 11. All right, back to Hook. I don't see how he can... Um, get there this turn, but it looks like he's going to end up fading and just adding to his board. So, um, yep, use two power to play the boarding party, moved Wendy over and fates all that's left. <laughs> is, is he going to fate though? Nope, looking like he's gonna pass on it again, not wanting to give Prince John that extra um, engine to gain power from, yeah. Those warrants and golden arrows just make fading him so painful. But, oh, Lost Boys. So we were able to dodge another taunt on Brian's side. Um, we're going to go cover up some actions, it seems like. It's interesting because not placing it at Wendy's location means that he can use the ingenious device to clear off his combo spot and have a vanquish yeah i think that might have ended up costing him here we'll see if he can get enough uh 
strength onto the board. Oh, he looks like he might be counting it up. Peter Pan should be at 11, so. Currently has eight strength himself, so he needs three more to beat Peter. Oh. Moving the cannon, so it looks like he does not think he's going to beat Peter this turn. Two more. Hook's case. Oh, interesting. So not going to get that extra power this turn. Instead, opting to put it at Hangman's Tree because he can then get three power there as well as at Mermaid Lagoon. Um, Hook has been pretty starved for power this whole game. So I think that makes sense. See if we have a second play from Brian's side this turn now. Ooh, worthy opponent. Interesting. So trying to get those taunts out of his fate deck. Yes, yeah, so that's exactly what he's doing. He wanted to get that last taunt out, knowing that the last two cards were not heroes. Um so we're going to see if he pulls a brutal hero now, though. TikTok. All right. Well, yep. Going to go to the Jolly Roger. Um, that could end up being punishing if Pikmin can find a way to get rid of the cannon. Oh, maybe not going to go to the Jolly Roger for that reason. Um, okay, interesting. Going to Mermaid Lagoon. Deciding he probably doesn't need uh, Hangman's Tree or need that combo spot anymore with Hangman's Tree being all set up. All right, fade again, see if we get a taunt. Oh, well, all that work to get rid of the taunt previously is, ends up not being for much. So. Hook's in a lot of trouble here. There's been an increase in heroes, but, and Prince John's slowly getting there. All right, let's see if there's a card play. Sir Hiss at Nottingham with Hook passing on fading. Uh, it's less likely to be a big deal, I think. <laughs> Just a discard turn. Interesting. Yeah, and choosing not to fade again. Makes sense. Um, that Sheriff, all, all these plays from Prince John are uh, not very exciting in the face of no heroes, which is a really interesting um, late game thing that tends to come up with. Um, Prince John in general. So, um, yeah, let's see if uh, Hook is able to clear out this taunt or not. Cutlass, allowing him to, oh, nope, we're just moving the Lost Boys. Um, and then choosing to fate. Okay, or Vanquish. All right. Down to four strength on the board versus that 11 strength Peter Pan. It's not great. I'm wondering if this uh, choice goal and I'm not playing heroes is actually gonna end up costing Brian in this game. Um, 
because there's really nothing he can do at this point is any hero he plays because he hasn't been playing heroes is is just not going to be enough probably so it's just a question of whether um pikmin can keep holding him off from defeating peter for long enough yep another taunt brutal TikTok, yep TikTok's the choice that darn alligator gonna um, annoy Captain Hook for another day. All right, and we're gonna go back to, oh, one more action or, nope, going back to Hook now. All these actions blocked up is pretty rough. Um, don't know, just has to choose to go to TikTok's location. That's rough. Um, yep, card his hand. Um, move TikTok off of that spot so he can bounce back and forth again. Um, and, oh, ingenious device back to Hangman's Tree. He's looking to stack everything in the Jolly Roger, it seems. So, um, oh, is he? have more actions nope yep just gonna draw his cards that was a rough turn let's see if prince john decides to go for more power or keep the slow fate going this churn is not going to be very much unless he goes to that power power spot okay so we're choosing to go for applying pressure to the wind condition All right. And looks like we're back to hook and going to, like we said, and move those heroes over. Um, Pirate Brute and Vanquishing TikTok. All right. Seems like he's constantly falling behind, but both of those taunts are out of his fate deck. So um, he's in a slightly better spot now, um, five cards left. So Pikmin would have to fate three times to get to another taunt possibly. Um, but two strength versus that 11th strength Peter is, is going to be rough. So we'll see what Pikmin can do. Choosing not to go to a fate spot again. Applying pressure to his own win condition um, to make Hook deal with him. Okay, is Hook actually going to have to fate? It looks like he might. Um, pixie Dust going away. Headache. Interesting. Um, not sure what Brian was looking for there. Oh, no allies. That explains this now. Um, and the classic play hero to not cover any actions because it's the best place to play it. Um, Sheriff's not going to be able to get power from it. Oh, she can't be played there. Yikes. All right. That's going to be a rough one. Um, cause that means the sheriff's going to get power off of her. She get he gets two power off the warrant and Pikmin, if he's able to vanquish with those golden arrows, is going to be in a very good spot next turn to take this one home. Um, yeah, because I don't see how Peter can get, uh, or Peter, Brian can get nine more power or strength to vanquish Peter um, this turn. So we'll see. And he won't be able to steal from the rich. I think that means he's probably just looking for Little John next turn with a fate. Um, oh, okay. No, he will be able to steal from the rich then, unless there is a set of trap. Interesting. Oh. 
accidentally put that golden arrows into his hand. But yep, uh, get to vanquish. All right, wow. Lady Cluck down in 25. They're just going to check um, whether Brian can stop him because nothing else really matters. Oh, yep. Correction with the bow and arrows, um, not needing to discard. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. This King Richard is just a little bit too late. So it looks like Prince John takes down, well, Pikmin with Prince John takes down the first game. 